Hello everyone. The purpose of this video is how to apply Spring feature on a part and define Spring properties for applying preload utilizing Abacus. Actually, this is extremely helpful and important in lots of fields, so stay tuned. In biomechanics, sometimes for designing or simulating an implant, uh, you need to apply a preload to a screw, owing to the fact that some screws used in implants are compression screws. It means that they already have preload in them. For designing such a screws using Abacus, you need to define a spring feature in this mentioned screw. So this is a base plate, which is one of the shoulder implant components. Compression screws, as you can see, are the anterior and posterior um, screws of the base plate. Uh, so I'm going to define the preload for these two screws in this model. At first, you need to cut the screws uh, and make a gap in them. I'll probably uh, make another video to show you how you can get it done uh, so that uh, you can apply the spring feature within the gap. To do that, for applying uh, the spring feature, you need to go uh, to the interaction module here and then connector uh, in taskbar and then you can hit uh, connector builder so uh, it mentions that uh, select the first connector point so you need to go uh, in one of the surfaces and uh, select one point here and one point uh, so it mentions select the second connector point, which will be this point. Uh, so between these points, uh, these two points, um, the software uh, gonna apply the spring feature in this line. So in connector builder window that uh, it popped up, uh, you can see uh, different features. Uh, so wire feature name, uh, you can name it as uh, spring and then uh, you need to uh, actually uh, define a property uh, for this section so go to create connector section and uh, because it is preload you can name it as uh, preload and then uh, the connection category should be complex and a connection type uh, would be uh, bushing. Uh, so you can uh, see the connection type diagram here in this window. Uh, as you can see, it has the feature of a spring between two points that you already uh, considered. So hit continue. In edit connector section, you need to apply and consider two feature for your spring. The first feature is elasticity. Uh, for the force moment, you need to consider F3. So uh, this line will be uh, your Z axis of applying the preload. And the coupling would be uncoupled. And the definition would be uh, linear. Uh, so in this part, uh, D33, you need to apply the preload. Uh, you can extract the preload value either from literature or uh, conducting an experiment on your model and get your own measurement and value. So in my case, I extracted uh, from a literature and it is uh, 627 uh, newtons. The second feature that you need to consider is reference length. You can use the length associated with U3 because we already uh, defined F3 like F in the Z axis. Uh, so your spring is in this axis and uh, you need to define the length in U3 uh, and the others are zero. So my gap is three centimeter long. Uh, so the spring is three centimeter. Uh, and I want the spring length decreased by two centimeters. So I'll put two centimeters here and then hit OK. I've already uh, defined spring features 
and you can see here that uh, it automatically made the coordinate system for the connector builder feature and you can it's okay here as you can see it it automatically build the coordinate system so uh, you already define the uh, spring feature between these gaps for applying the preload for your compression screw I hope this video will help you in your project, especially for students that are currently struggling and working on biomechanics projects and simulations, as this subject would be really helpful uh, in that area. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe our channel on YouTube and check our website for uh, new coming products. Bye till the next video.